Hello my sumo peeps, I'm back with a quick tu tutorial because um, I got a good question and it's actually one that I used to really want to know when I was learning GIMP and Photoshop and there is a way to do it in Sumo too so I thought I'd show you and the question is how do you put pictures inside of text and this is the example of the picture that uh, I was asked about. So how, did, how did I get that picture of Lutz? And you know, of course, your mind goes to, well, you stick it over there and you erase around it and all that, but no, there's a much easier way. So I will show you, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a scrunchy picture that I made on Sumo a while ago, and let's go. So first we start with a new image, and uh, let's just um, let's turn it black brush or paint bucket and add a new layer. Let's use white. Let's go to text and it's nice to use a large chunky text. Um, impact is one that I'm familiar with so use impact. We want to of course bump it up as large as we can and we'll just put Type that uh, put it on caps lock and grunge because that's what we're going to fill it with. Okay, remove tool. Now yeah, let's go ahead and make it a little bigger. Okay, now let's import our grunge layer. Import there from my computer. Yeah, it was waiting on the desktop. And it's that grunge. So, Let's uh, go down to our text layer, right click and choose, choose select pixels, and there we go. So what we need to do now is select our grunge layer, just come up here, not right click on it, but just highlight it, and then push select inverse. So now what we've done is we've selected everything outside of the text, and then edit, cut. Select, and there you have it, a picture inside of text, and we can expound on this a bit if you'd like. Um, let's take our white text layer, and let's move it a little bit, so it looks like we got a little chunkiness to that grunge layer. Let's select pixels. Select and we'll change the color. Colorize. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I don't know. I guess that looks the best. <coughs> In fact, I don't know if I like it that much, but. Uh, Let's make it a little thinner. That looks better. Merge these two layers together. And here's the fun for you people that don't remember how to make a reflection. Go ahead and duplicate the text layer. Take your bottom layer, come down here and choose flip vertical. Now let's move it up to, just use your clips. Just using your arrow key, of course, Sumo screws up as usual, so let's move that layer now. Using your arrow key, just bring it up so it stays level. And you want so it's just about touching just like that, because your G touches right there. And let's take our opacity down to about 50%. the trick that makes it look a little bit more real. Take your eraser tool, keep your flow about 33%, just turn down the opacity a bit, turn your diameter all the way up, choose the first soft brush or airbrush, and we're just going to erase. I want it to look like a 
it's sort of fading in. Or fading away. And there you have it. That's how you put a grunge in, or sorry, put a picture inside of text. We could have done that with a picture of Liz Taylor's eyes like the other picture. But um, yeah, pretty easy and um, fun to do. You can use it in lots of different ways. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks. Bye.